Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is CJ and I post makeup videos here on YouTube, which is what you are so kindly watching right now. So a couple of weeks ago, I posted an eyeshadow declutter. I decluttered a bunch of my eyeshadow palettes, got a lot of views. Thank you. That was really cool. Um, in that video, I mentioned that I have like kind of reorganized the room which I'm in right now, which is the guest room, but then also kind of like my makeup room and stuff. And so I have like this big dresser that I've been keeping my makeup in, but then because I moved my desk and it's closer to the closet, I went to Walmart yesterday and got like a $20 like little set of three just plastic drawers, you know, the ones like the rubber made ones or whatever. And so I felt like before putting, you know, moving everything from the dresser to that drawer set, I could reorganize everything and also declutter it. And so I figured why not film this? Also, I'm going to be filming, this is going to be like a two-part video. I'm probably, I think I'm going to put them up at the same time, but I'm going to make it into two different videos just because it's going to be super long if I don't. This video is going to be the face products, so, you know, primer, foundation, all the way to highlight, and the next one's going to be, um, not eyeshadow palettes because I did just do that video, but it's going to be like eyeliners, mascaras, and then also lip products and setting sprays, so... That'll be that video, but this is this video. I'm going to just go ahead and get started because it's going to be a long one. So let's just go. All right, so I'm going to go in the order of how I do my makeup. So first, I'm going to be doing primer. And I have a few. I did take little videos of like everything that I have. So you can see just kind of a thing. But I'm going to quickly go through each product, say if I'm keeping it or not. And yeah. So the first one is this, uh, this is the Glassy Skin Balm by Touch and Soul. I, when I first started my channel, I raved about this. I got it in a BoxyCharm and I loved this thing. And, you know, just as you get, like, we get a lot of primers in BoxyCharm. And just as you kind of get more and more things, like, you kind of forget about things that you love. And I smelled this the other day, or yesterday. This is not, it has not gone bad. And so I'm going to keep this just because I do remember absolutely loving it. And there's still a decent amount left. Um, this was more like a moisturizer than a primer, but I just remember absolutely loving how it made my makeup look, everything, so this is a definite keep. Next is a newer product to me. This is the L'Oreal True Match Me Glotion. I mentioned this in, I think, it was another video I just did. It's the one where I tried, like, the Elf CC Cream. New favorite. Love it. Use it almost every single day. Doesn't break me out. Gives me such a pretty, pretty glow underneath my foundation. Absolutely beautiful. Another keep. This is the Benefit Blah. The Benefit Professional. I know a lot of people don't really love this primer. I do, though. I actually really like this. I don't use this on an everyday basis, but if you are wanting, like, full-ass glam, like, you want to look filtered, you know, before you even take a selfie, this is so good for that. I think it's, I think a lot of people with, like, dry skin don't like this because it is pretty thick. And it's very silicone-y. I love it on my skin, though. I think it works wonders. And it really does. I mean, I think it's a little much for every single day. Like, if you're just doing, like, a light foundation. But when you're going all in, this is so good. that I love this thing. Keeping it. This one is the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. I did really, really like this. Um, it's pretty much gone. And even if it wasn't, it's very expired. I don't use this during the winter because it is incredibly mattifying. I mean, it's one of those things you put on and you just kind of feel all the moisture come out of your face, which for some instances you want that. Like if it's, you know, 100 degrees outside, 100% humidity, and you live in southern Louisiana, this is actually really, really good for that. I love it there in the summer, but right now it's like 30 degrees outside and I'm not going to be putting this on. And it's going to be a few months until I can, and by then it's going to be super expired because it's already expired. So I will be getting rid of this. I did like it. I don't know if I will ever repurchase it because, honestly, there's, like, this little e.l.f. primer spray. It's, like, a matte, it's, like, an oil control one. Andrea Montalano, she's the one who, like, put me onto it. I like that better than this, and it's, like, a fraction of the price. So I'm not going to be keeping this, and I probably won't repurchase it, but I did really like it. Okay, so this, it's not, it's a sunscreen. But I treat it like a primer because I use it as a primer because I was, I still am the person who wears sunscreen every single day. I kept this in my makeup drawer though because I always just put, it was like my first step before doing my makeup. This is the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. It's SPF 50. It was a 
uh, sunscreen. So if you didn't hear it, it was independently tested this because a lot of consumers were getting sunburned and they're like, what the hell am I getting sunburned? I'm wearing SPF 50 every single day. And it came out, it was independently tested that this is only SPF 19. And I'm pissed. I watched Hiram's video. He, wait, was it him or James Welsh? I think James, no, I'm talking about James Welsh. Hiram kind of mentioned this offhand. I think it was James. It was one of the two. I can't freaking remember. I'll research it and I'll put it right here. But one of the two of them kind of went a little bit more in depth into this and said, you know, kind of that the brand did reach out to them, gave them an apology because they knew that they hyped it up on their channel a lot. And, you know, basically said, we're going to be testing it ourselves. We'll let, we'll keep you up to date. Um, but I'm going to be getting rid of this because one SPF 19 is a joke. Uh, I am pale. I live in Southern Louisiana. I, and it kind of just makes me really sad because I did love this so, so much. It was so good under makeup. I thought I was just cream of the crop human for wearing this every single day. And then it came out that it wasn't even working and it just kind of makes me sad to look at. So I'm going to be getting rid of that one. So next is the Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Prime Essence. If you don't know what this is, Touch and Soul, their No Pore Bloom Primer is like a godsend for a lot of people. I tried it. I didn't love it. I got this in a boxy charm, and it's like a more liquid serum version of that. And I tried it today because I did try to film this video yesterday, and my boyfriend was screeching playing his video games in the room next to me, and the I just, I couldn't upload that, well, I couldn't upload that, because first of all, it's embarrassing for me to be in a relationship with that, I'm just kidding, but, you know, anyway, so I did film a little bit of this yesterday, but this, um, I just, I don't see any of a difference with it, and so this morning, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this, and this, uh, Farsali Skin Tune Blur, which I'll get into in a second, I tried them, one on each side of my face, just to really give it the go-ahead, because I'm like, I've got to get rid of one of them, I can't keep all these primers, I don't need this, and, I see it, I saw more of a difference with this than I did with this. I really don't see any of a difference with this. Um, I like how it feels because it's like almost like a skincare serum, but I don't think it really gives you any of the benefits. I think it just feels good, and that's why I'm going to be getting rid of it. Um, on the other hand, this Farsali Skin Tune Blur, I got this from a BoxyCharm pop-up, which is when they have like super discounted stuff. I got this because Jackie Ina raves about this, and Jackie Ina, if I can have skin that looks like hers in any sort of fashion, I will do it. She says it's like a skincare-esque primer. I don't really know about all the skincare benefits of it. I do like this. I can't tell a huge difference, but I can tell more of a difference with this than I can with that. And I do like using this. I just like how it feels, and I don't want to, like, get rid of stuff that I don't have to. And I do see my pores, like, look a little less uh, evident with this one and I don't know I like how my foundation applies on top of this one better than on top of that no poor no poor bloom one so I'm gonna be keeping this one and then next is this a wonder beauty glow ahead illuminating illuminating face oil this is one of those as I said I have I moved my room around like a few weeks ago and so like I've just had a couple baskets that I kept on my desk so I wouldn't have to like get up walk to the dresser walk back and so this is one of the things that I just kind of kept in my dresser. I didn't get it every single day. And I forgot, I do really, really like this. For like a very lightweight, it's not, this is much more of like an oil serum than the L'Oreal Gloomy Lotion. This one is a lotion. It is basically like a really shimmery moisturizer. This one is an oil serum sort of thing. I think this one, the L'Oreal one, shows up more, but this one does give you that more like, I feel like this is more for like an everyday sort of thing. More of like a, you know, you're just like really hydrated, your skin looks really healthy. I don't know. This one, I think this one's just for more heavy duty makeup. This one's for not, I do love them both. They're not interchangeable, but depending upon the makeup look that you're going for, they are interchangeable because this one's heavy not heavy. Does that make sense? I don't think so. All right, so these are my primers. All right, let me put this. That's going to be the throwaway box. All right, so next we're going to go into foundations, right? Yes. Okay, foundation. I have quite a few. So the first two, let's just go ahead and get them out because obviously I'm going to keep these. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Absolute holy grail. Love it so much. No, I'm not getting rid of this ever. I love it. It's great. Beautiful. This is slowly creeping up on replacing that. Not replacing it because they both have their place. But this one, I am reaching for a little bit more than that one. What the real cream of the crop. I said that twice today. Cream of the crop. 
I don't know. But this mixed with that, oh my god, it's so good, so good. But this so good. It is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream Color Correcting Full Coverage Natural Finish. Has SPF 30 sunscreen. Please do not use full or don't use foundations or CC creams as your only form of sunscreen. The amount of product that you would have to put on your face to actually get that SPF is ridiculous. And unless you want to look like a 10 pound foundation face, I don't know if you would want to do that. But I do that. I do like that it has the additional SPF that never hurts. But just this is so good. I love it so much. I'm definitely keeping that one. So this is, I've actually been kind of getting back into this one. This is the Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30 Oil-Free Moisturizing Natural Looking Coverage Matte Meets Glowy Finish. Um, I have been actually, I've been really actually loving this. I got this out of a BoxyCharm and it wasn't my favorite for like an everyday office job because I don't, the lasting power isn't great. Like it's not you know, it's a BB cream. Okay. So this is more of like a, you slap it on to go to the grocery store. If I just want to look like a little bit more, you know, put together more of myself, then this is what I wear. I do really, really like this. It is, it's not, you know, a lot of BB creams, they kind of get that thing where they're like oily and they break apart really fast and they're barely, emol they're barely like emollient, but like not in a good way. This, I think it's not that like it's so much better the color is actually a really good match and again i got this out of a boxy charm like they gave this to me picked my color out i i mean i really do like this for just like an all over splot you know just like a quick little thing it's really good uh okay this one the rare beauty foundation i'm so sorry i have got to get rid of this i hate this foundation i really do i hate this foundation I have tried mixing it with some of my favorite mixing foundations that can make any foundation look great this made it look crappy. It just makes my skin look incredibly textured, dry, peely, old. It's just not good. Uh, I love I love the brand. I'm going to be talking about one of their blushes in this video, yeah. And that's a definite keep. I love that blush. But I love Selena Gomez. I do love the brand and everything that it stands for. But I do hate this foundation. And I would give it to someone else. But it does have like a giant doe foot applicator. So it's not... Um, I don't want to be like, you know, cause you have to put it on your face. So I don't want to be giving it to anyone, especially now with COVID and just, um, I'm the palest bitch that I know. So no one that I know would fit this color. Yeah. All right. So next is this Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. I don't even think they sell this anymore. I got this from my boyfriend's sister. She had some foundations. I'll talk about another one. And um, she was just giving them away, and I was like, I'll take it. So this came out at the same time as their more mattifying for Like, they came out with the two, like a hydrating one and a mattifying one. And they were absolutely shit on, as they should have been, because the shade range was just absolute nonsense. I really don't even think they sell this anymore. I'm going to be keeping this because I do actually really like this foundation. Okay, so I'm going to keep it. I feel like it would be really wasteful to get rid of it because I do enjoy it. Okay, so... The other Tarte foundation that my boyfriend sister got me is this one by, I already said it's by Tarte. Uh, this is the Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. I really don't like this. It's like super thick. It's like an almost mousse of a foundation. The shade's way too dark for me. The formula's way too thick for me. I just, I really do not like this. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this one, hands down. So the next two that I wanna talk about, I use together, like interchange, not interchangeably, but these I love together more than apart. And that's what I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be keeping both of them. So this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I got this in a boxy charm. love it. Very thick, very heavy duty, but I love it. The shade's a little dark for me, but that's where this baby comes in. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation. Very opposite ends of the uh, foundation spectrum. This one's like 30 something. This one's like five. This is just a really good mixing medium for me because I, you know, like during the summer and then the fall and the winter, your shade kind of fluctuates just depending on how much sun exposure you get, whatever. And so this is so good to have in your kit just in case like you do have a foundation that you love but it's a little too dark for you because now it's like the fall or the winter and you're a little bit paler. Just put like a tiny little dollop of this in it and it's absolutely beautiful. They have other shades of this. I think they have like a blue one. I don't know. They have a bunch of shades that you can add to your foundations to like do different things for your skin. I think they have a darkening one. I'm pretty sure they have a darkening one but coverage isn't great but 
the pigment is enough to mix into that other foundation perfectly to lighten it up perfectly. It is hydrating, so I do love using it with this because this is thick, okay? I don't hate it by itself, but I much prefer it when it has a little bit of this hydrating element into it. So I love both of these. I'm keeping both of these. Okay, so this is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen. It has SPF 50. Again, take that with a grain of salt. So I did a whole review on this like beginning of quarantine last year, like March or April of 2020. I did really like it, but then I never reached for it ever, ever again. And it just kind of sat in my drawer and I would reach for it occasionally, but it just wasn't my favorite, especially on its own. And I, you know, was going kind of through, I was organizing my stuff this morning, like, and filming the little shots of everything. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to try this one more time mixed into the foundation that I love just to see because I don't want to waste it. It's old. So, I mean, I don't think it's quite expired yet. It's getting very close, but I'm, like, I'm at least just going to try so I don't waste it. And so I mixed this with my L'Oreal Infallible and I love it. I really do. It makes it look a lot dewier, a lot healthier. I mean, this L'Oreal Infallible foundation, it's an absolute dream. It really is. And so, I mean, I don't really think you need to make it dewier or anything like that, but adding this to it did do that. And I don't know. I really liked the finish of it. It was great. So I'm going to keep this just because I don't hate it. It's a good thing to mix it with, and it would be really wasteful for me not to use it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it up. You know what I mean? Okay, so those are my foundations. Next is powder, and I'm not going to go too much into this because, as I said, I did film a little bit of this yesterday, and as I went through, I don't have that many powders, and just as I filmed it, I realized I'm going to keep all my powders, so I just am. I love them all. I just do. Uh, this is the Ciate London, London Everyday Vacay. Very lightweight. I love it for underneath the eye. It doesn't, it's not like super locking your makeup in but just like it's absolutely beautiful it uh, it almost kind of like dissolves between your fingers like when you rub it it's just like very soft very good love it for underneath the eye this i got because again i'm unemployed it's cheap and i remember absolutely loving this back in the day and i tried it and i'm like yep so great this is the rimmel stay matte powder in transparent it does not alter the color of your foundation um, if you don't put that much, you can even use this on your under eyes unless you have like super dry under eyes. But I do, I mean, I'll put this all over my face. I love it. It locks your makeup in, but doesn't make it look cakey, even though it's like a stay matte. It's really not that mattifying, but it does like keep your foundation from breaking up with oils all day. I don't know. It's a perfect powder. It's great. Maybelline Fit Me. I've talked about this a million times on my channel. Absolutely golden. All over your face, just setting underneath your eyes anything beautiful and expensive. This I will not repurchase, but I do love this. I use this every freaking day and I'm putting this in a powder. It's a little contour palette, but I use this for these two shades, Halo and Enhance. It's this pink and this yellow. I will mix them together on the back of my beauty sponge and tap it along my nose and underneath my eyes to brighten it and kind of reverse contour my nose just to make it look smaller. And if I'm running super late, this Princess Cut shade is a pretty decent contour. I don't hate it. It's decent. I like my other ones better, but I do like it. These three, I only ever use as eyeshadows. I never use them as a bronzer because I just don't like them as a bronzer. But, I mean, it's a really good, like, all-in-one. Just, like, you're running super late. You need something to throw on. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Halo and Enhance together, absolute dream. But I know a lot of brands have like you know setting powders like that they're probably like a mix of those shades so I don't have to dip into two and it's a lot more inexpensive so I'm not getting rid of any powders but I only have four so I feel like that's okay oh wait shoot I lied I'm so sorry I forgot I had this okay I got this as a Sephora perk and I thought it was a full-size one but look at this bitch this thing was like $18 worth of perk points is that not stupid um, I liked, the, I used to have the full size of this and I loved it. I got that the full size one out of the BoxyCharm. This one, I mean, it's okay. I never reach for it, honestly, because it gets lost since it's so stupid tiny. Honestly, I, I might actually give this away because I, I mean, I liked the full size one. Um, but I just, I like mine, the ones that I have a lot more than this. And I, I'm, if I'm being completely honest, I'm never going to use this. So I'm going to get rid of this, give it away. Okay, so next have this hair been out like that the whole time? So that's embarrassing. And so next is going to be bronzers. So I'm going to go first through my cream bronzers and then my powder ones because that's how I apply them on my face. All right, this one 
I honestly forgot that I had. It's the bronzer or one of the bronzers that I'm wearing on my face right now. And this is by the Cream Shop. It's one of those like little, um, you like tap it in there. This, I do like it, but I think it's going bad because I used it yesterday and I used it today just to use it. And I do love the payoff of, like, of it. I think it's because it is a cushion, it doesn't go on as like pigmented as like a stick or anything else. And I do think it's a little bit easier to blend, but you got to get your brush in there, man. I mean, you got to go into it and I just think it's drying up. It's going bad. I don't hate it. <sighs> I'm honestly, you know, okay, I'm going to keep it just because I'm, I don't want to waste the product. Okay. And so I'm going to use this. I do think it's dry in the process of drying up, but I've been using it the past few days. I really do like how it looks and I would rather use it up than not at least give it its due diligence, you know, so I'm going to keep this. I do think it's really good, but I will say when I did get the first time I used it in like months and months was yesterday. And that's because like, I don't forgot I had that. So it's not that memorable, but it's not bad. Okay, so this is the Ofra Skin Sculpting Wand in Sunset. I'm gonna be getting rid of this just because it's gone. Like, I know it doesn't look like it in the packaging, but whenever I put it in there and then take it out, nothing comes out on the little doe foot. I do love this. I think it's a perfect like contour bronzer shade, more so of a contour. But if you are in a rush, but you are, you know, you've got like a rounder face that you would much rather contour than bronze like me, then this is such a good in between because it does lean more, a little more towards the contour. Love the formula of it. It's like a moussier formula. You put it on with the doe foot. I'll probably repurchase this once I have the money to. And once I get through some of my other ones, because I do have quite a few liquid cream bronzers that I do love and even powder ones that mimic this. So I will be getting rid of this only because it's pretty much gone. Next is this Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Almond. I don't reach for this all the time because it is a very, it's not that dark. It's a pretty light shade. This is really good for like an everyday outing. Like if you're going to the office, if you want that contour, somewhat of a bronze, but you don't want to look like super made up but again i am unemployed and how many times i'm gonna say that in my video i know it's, it's probably annoying to hear all the time but anyway so um when i'm doing my makeup i kind of like to go all out just because i am staying home and i don't know it's more fun for me to go all out than not and so this isn't like a really all out shade this is more of a natural everyday shade but i do really really like this and hopefully i get reemployed soon so I will be keeping this for that because I do think it's really, really good. Uh, I love the formula. I love the packaging. Love the color. Love Rihanna. Anyway, the next is this uh, Sculpt FX Contour Stick by AOA Studio. This shit, it was a dollar. AOA Studio is where it's at, man. Everything's a dollar. It's not a dollar. It's a dollar fifty-five. And that fifty-five cents goes to like an animal shelter. Really cool brand. Or it's they have like their own brand. They sell other brands. Their brand is AOA Studio, and the website is shopmissa.com. But I do really, really like this, honestly. It's just a contour stick. This is more, I think this is more of a bronzer stick. I think I, I read the little description thingy wrong on the website. And I didn't get the shade that I wanted, but I still love the shade. It's not bad. But next time I get this, I will be getting the more of a contour shade. This is much more of a bronzer for me, but it is absolutely beautiful. Lasting power is right, and it's a dollar. So I'm going to be keeping that. Next, I'm going to be getting rid of this just because I've had it for forever. It's probably expired and I never reached for it. Did I even say what this was? I didn't say what this was. This is a Pure Cameo Contour Dual Ended Contour Foundation in Light. I got this out of the box charm. The bronzer's okay. I'm not obsessed with the formula. The color's decent. It's more like a honey brown color. So it's more like that almond from the Fenty Beauty one. It's more of like an in-between contour bronzer. But it also comes with like this little bit of a foundation shade on the back. It's way too yellow for me. I don't like it. I'm just not a huge fan of this formula. It's a very drying formula. Like it's kind of kind of like dig into it a little bit. And I just don't enjoy that. I don't think it looks great on my skin. Yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of this. This is the Milk Makeup Bronzer Matte Bronzing Sick and Baked. This is the miniature one because I'm cheap and poor. And uh, yeah, so this is like a cult classic. I do really, really, really like this. Again, this is much more of a bronzer than a contour. So I will say if you're wanting more of a contour shade, and I say this as someone of my skin tone. So like if you have a different skin tone, then obviously the tones are going to work differently for you. But if you're somewhat around or near mine, then 
This is far, it's a bronzer shade. This I see me using if like I went to the beach or something. If you just like want that all over bronze, like healthy glow, natural-esque Hailey Bieber look. I don't know. I was watching a YouTube. I was watching What's Her Face's blog. Julia Adams. Julia Adams. Yeah. I was watching her blog and she mentioned like Hailey Bieber for some reason. And this is just, I, I see her as using this because it's just like an all over bra. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's a little, it's stupid expensive. I'm not going to lie. I think this was like 10 something dollars, but a little goes a long way. And I've had it for a while and it's the mini one. So I'm going to be keeping this one. So those are my cream bronzers. Now I'm going to go into my powder bronzers. First is this Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Ambient Lighting Bronzer Powder. I've had this for years. If you didn't see my last video, first of all, you should. It got a lot of views and I'm very proud of it. And if you just want like a stupid, like ranty, petty video, you should go watch it. It's just me ranking like the brands that I don't support. Hourglass is one of those brands because their shade inclusion is garbage. Um, but again, I've had this for years. They, they, my thing says erg, la, ergius. There's not even the whole L. It looks like an I, so ergius. That's what my bronzer says because I've had it for so long. But this does not act like it's expired. I do absolutely love this bronzer. It is much more of a bronzer than a contour. It's got like a little bit of a highlight weaved in there. I don't know. I do really like this, but I would not repurchase this one. I think it's stupidly expensive. And also, I just don't support the brand. But I do like it. I'm going to keep it and use it up. At least until it goes bad. So, this is the Wet n Wild Sunset Striptease Icon, Color Icon Bronzer. I'm probably going to get rid of this. Because I did love this. But also, I've had this for a really, really long time. And I never, ever, ever reach for it. Ever. And the pigment on it is not that great. Like, it doesn't pick up pigment at all. Like, I know I'm not zoomed in or anything, but, like, I'll put it on the back of my hand, and there's nothing there. Like, I just don't love the formula. I think I did at one point, but also I think it's kind of gone bad. And so I'm going to be getting rid of this. I did like it at first, but that's me trying to remember from, like, a year ago. So I'm going to be getting rid of it. All right. This is my absolute favorite. I've literally almost hit paint on it, and I've only had it for a few months. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze and Bronzer. I have the shade 01 Light. This is the perfect bronzer, kind of contour, not really, but kind of shade. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. It makes, you look oh, it makes you look incredibly healthy. It blends out beautifully. It goes on very pigmented, but not too much so. It's a perfect bronzer. It's perfect. I love it. I use it pretty much every single day on top of my contour powder, and I love it so much I, I'm not getting rid of it. Nope. This is, an, again, another perfect product for me that I rave about in every video that I talk about it in. This is the Amisha Cotton Contour in Smoked Hazel. I got this off of Yes Style, which is an Asian beauty website. It is my perfect contour shade, y'all. I'm not even kidding. It is a gray toned, but not too gray to make you look ashy. It's got a little, like, the, it's got, like, the tiniest little pinch of warmth. Not really... But it's just the perfect making you look like you have a bone shadow that makes you look like you didn't eat pasta and cheese its all day yesterday. It's just absolutely beautiful. It doesn't go in too terribly pigmented. You do kind of have to build it up, but I do like that. It means you can't go in super heavy-handed because when you go in too heavy-handed with contour, you can look, you know, emaciated and it's just, I don't know. But I do, I love this thing so much. It's really not, I think it was like 5 or $6, not expensive. And it's just my perfect contour shade. I love this, so definitely keeping that. This is my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I need to use this more. Again, I've been reaching for this one, the L'Oreal one, more because it's just been in my little bucket that I've had by my desk. But th And this one's been in the dresser. So I do absolutely love this bronzer. There's really, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a holy grail for a lot of people for a reason. Absolutely beautiful, very smoothing. I think this one, I will prefer the color on a little bit more. It's got more of a little bit of a coolness to it, so it adds a little bit more to your contour. But this one, it's so good it's so smooth so not too initially pigmented but just pigmented enough got that it has that beautiful beautiful warmth if you have more of a sh face that you don't want to like chisel out you just really want to give it that healthy bronze you will die for this and it's from a drugstore this one is by a pretty vulgar it is their uh bronzed bee bronzer in 120 sunkiss snitch i do really like this but this is 
very dark for me and I only used this during the summer and I've had this for I think over a year now. It says it expires after a year and I just know with the way that COVID's going in the states and the fact that even if COVID does start to like let up a little bit, my little brother has cancer and my boyfriend that I live with has an autoimmune disease. So I'm not going to be going outside and hanging out a lot unless it's in my backyard. And I have three dogs and my backyard smells like dog shit all the time. So I am probably going to get rid of this. I did like this, but I liked this when, you know, there was a summer I think I went to the beach twice. And so it was when I did get enough of a tan to where this did fit me, but it doesn't now. I don't know, but too dark for me. And I don't want to hold on to something that's too dark for me. I think that's a little stingy, you know? All right, so that's all my bronzer. Next is blush. blush. Okay, so first are me my first, uh, well, no, three. I have three Milani blushes. This is a uh, Milani Luminoso. It's the baked powder blush. Holy grail for so many people for a reason. Absolutely beautiful. It's a peachy pink dream. Has sheen on it. It's golden sheen. It makes you look healthy, beautiful, radiant. I've never tried the uh, NARS Orgasm blush that everyone raves about because it's stupidly expensive. I'm not going to pay that much for a blush. But a lot of people say this is a dupe for it. And it's so good. And it lasts forever. It's really nice. This one is in 02 Rose de Oro. It's the same formula, just a different shade. This one is a little bit, or it's a lot deeper. It's more of a berry tone. It's got some um, gold highlights sort of weaved into it. This in the fall and the winter is a beautiful dream because, you know, a lot of times in the fall, you're wearing a little bit darker stuff. You know, you're wearing like a little bit of a darker lipstick, maybe some liner. I don't know. I just think it's got that berry fallness, winterness to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm not getting rid of either of these. On the same breath, this is the Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. Also by, my, by Milani. It's not the same formula. It's not a baked formula, but it's still absolutely incredible. I love this blush. I use it all the time. Um, it barely looks like it. Barely looks like it because there's like not even a dent to it but I do absolutely love this I think it's beautiful it's a beautiful mauvey pink everyday thing Milani when they when it comes to blushes they do their shit man they know their shit all right so another one I'm going to keep because I do love it I probably won't ever repurchase this because I do think this is more like an expensive brand um this is the studio makeup blush it's the soft blend blush in 07 wildflower I got this in a boxy charm I think this was like 30 dollars I <laughs> In a, like an old school video with like in a video from like forever ago I had my um boyfriend like guess makeup prices or whatever and this is one of them and uh I think it was like stupid expensive but I do absolutely love this blush I think it's great especially for it's kind of the same shade as this rosy oro but it's got it's more of a um like pinky peach color so I think this one is more geared towards like fall winter maybe a little bit of spring this one is a spring to summer godsend Love the shade. It's completely matte. Nothing in there, but I do love this. The formula is great. Pigmented, not too much, but pigmented. Love it. I'm keeping it. Won't repurse it because it's stupid expensive, but I do like it. This one I like as well, but I do think I really like my other ones more and I just don't use this one enough. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the Laura Geller Bl Baked Blush and Brighten Blush in Tropic Hues. It's just like a baked, marbleized blush. I do really, really like this. I think it's got a really good color. It makes you look very healthy, natural. But there are some blushes in my collection that I'm going to get to that I like more and like to use more. And I think me having this kind of steers me away from those just because, honestly, I don't know why. I guess because the other ones are like a blush palette. But I do like those better. And I just think I barely put a dent into this. I could give it to someone who would use it so much more than I would. So I'm going to get rid of this. All right, so the blush palettes, I have three of them that I'm going to talk about. One I'm going to be getting rid of, but the first is this Alomar Cosmetics Blush, Color at Blush Trio in Fair Light. Y'all, Alomar Cosmetics, I rave about them all the time. Okay, I know I've mentioned it before, but the video where I like ranked my, uh, the brands I won't support, I did this eyeshadow look. It's one of my favorite ones that I've ever done. I was so incredibly proud of it. And I used the Alomar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. It was like the Reina Del Caribe Volume 1. They are inexpensive. They are owned by the most boss-ass, young, Latina woman 
The brand is so good. They're sold in Target now. All of Mark Cosmetics is not raved about nearly as much as it should be. That's all I'm going to say. This blush trio is so beautiful. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I'm wearing a mix. I don't wear Castaway that often because it's much more orangey than I'm used to. But Para, uh, Para Yuso, absolutely beautiful. And this is one of the main reasons I want to get rid of that Laura Geller because, again, this just sits, I mean, you have stuff that just like sits in your collection and you forget how much you love it because you see everything else and you're like, oh, I need to use that. You know, you don't really want to. And it's just like, no, get rid of that one, give it to someone else and then use the ones you freaking want to before they get expired. You know what I mean? Love that thing. Now, the next blush palette I have is this Ace Beauté Blush in Paradise palette. I honestly do really like this. Um, Ace Beauté, we get a lot of stuff from them. Again, I got that on Boxycharm. We get a lot of stuff from Ace Beauté and Boxycharm and not everything is great. But I will say, obviously, this shade, your girl can't rock it, okay? No, that would be cute. I don't know if you've ever tried this, but if you get, like, lip gloss on or, like, a, a chapstick and you tap a little bit of, like, a matte blush on top, that's beautiful. So I could maybe, I should try that. But these three, love. I love all three of them. This one, especially, like, in the winter because it does have that, like, berry deepness to it. But, like, these two so beautiful again i love the formula to these i need to use these more so this i'm gonna be getting completely rid of i do i love the okay so sorry this is the wander beauty trip for two blush and bronzer duo first of all and i I've, I've know i've mentioned this palette in a video before but this is supposed to be a blush and bronzer who is a bro who is this a bronzer for casper is it for casper the firmly goes this ain't a bronzer for me and i know there's people fairer than me i'm not saying there's not but i'm saying that is not a bronzer. The blush Bellini is beautiful. I do think it's absolutely beautiful. I do love this blush. I think it's honestly just, I think it's luminoso. It may, it's a little bit peachier, a little bit brighter, but it is luminoso. So I'm going to be giving this away as just this Costa Ray shade. If you're a, like a little bit hair of a deeper, this would be a beautiful highlight. I'm not going to lie. I've tried using it as a highlight. It's too dark for me. If you're a little bit darker than me, I think it would be a great highlight. But this Bellini shade is absolutely beautiful. And I just, I don't want to hold on to this when someone else can use it more than I would. So I'm going to be getting rid of this. Next is, I said I was going to mention this. This is the Rare Beauty uh, Bliss Blush, or the Blush and Bliss. That was difficult to say. Y'all, I know I said that high, uh, I hated that foundation, but this blush makes up for that hatred. I'm not even angry that I spent money on that foundation because I got this blush. This blush is gonna, it's gonna last you forever. These are the most pigmented liquid blushes you will find. You need a teensy tiny dot and you are good to go. This shade is, I haven't tried any of the other ones, but I will just say this shade is perfect on me. I love this blush so much. I love Selena Gomez. I love her brand. Again, hated the foundation, but love this blush, love the brand. And I'm ob very obviously keeping this. So that's, yeah. This I'm getting rid of. It's a little, I got this a kit, as a kid in a boxy charm. It's like, it was a Tristique stick trio. It was like a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight. Did I even use the bronzer? I think I already actually got rid of that bronzer like months ago. I'm not going to lie. But it's just like a little stick blush. I hate the color. It's too like berry pink. I don't like it. I didn't like the formula. And yeah. So that is blush done. We're almost done, you guys. We just have highlighters and then we're done. I've been trying to go as fast as I can. I don't know if y'all, y'all ever seen my videos, I babble a lot and I am trying my absolute damnedest not to babble and talk as fast as I humanly can in this video. So next is highlight. All right, so I'll go through all my cream highlighters first. Was this the bronzer? No, this is the highlight. Okay. So, cream highlights. I have three. This first one I'm going to be getting rid of. This is the Tristique one. It was the, from that same kit. And it was the Maldives Luminescent. Well, yeah. First of all, it's... Well, actually, I might keep this. Because I'm putting it on the back of my hand. And I kind of like that. I'm actually, I'm going to keep this. Sorry. I like it. I like it a lot. Also, I'm sorry for my dogs, as per usual. Okay, this one I'm actually definitely going to be getting rid of. This is an Hourglass uh, Cream Highlight. It is in Rose Gold Flash. 
I do think it's beautiful, but it's not a highlight. It's like a rose gold color. I can see it's like a blush topper, but not a highlight, especially for someone that's my shade. This might be really pretty for someone with like a deep skin tone. And again, I don't really like Hourglass. I don't like Hourglass as a brand right now. And it's just, wait, it's not a, it's not a highlight. It's just not a highlight. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, oh God, I read about these things all the time. These are the Iconic London Illuminator Drops in original. If you want to look like J-Lo or just a star from above. If you just want to, oh God, if you want to glisten, if you want to glow, if you want to look sweaty, but like in the most hot, beautiful, sensual way, get yourself a thing of these. They're stupid expensive. It's $48 for this bottle, but you need not even a drop. If you get a drop, you're, you got too much. You need to take it out and put just the little, little, little bit on your thing, tap it on your cheeks and you're golden. It's beautiful. It's great. I'm keeping it. Love it. Love it. All right. So next is now we're going into powder, uh, highlights. This is the Balms Mary Luminizer. I've had this thing. I got this. This is my first highlighter purchase and I got this on a cruise like forever ago <laughs> when we went with my mom's ex-husband. Anyway, um, I love this highlight. It's so good. It's I honestly, I've started because now I'm not going to an office shop, so I can kind of wear like a bling and highlight. This isn't very blingy, but it's got some, it's got a punch to it, you know? And so like when I was at an office shop, I'd wear the Essence one that I'll talk about in a second. I'd wear that one because it's a little bit more subdued. But this one, it has a little bit of a pop to it. It's the perfect color for me. It's like a little, sh it's more of like a golden white, but it's got a little hint of champagne to it. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. I wear it literally every single day. It's what I'm wearing right now keeping that. And then this is the Essence Pyramid Highlighter. Again, this, if you work in office shop or you just want a highlight that's not quite as blingy, if you just want to look like you're healthy and you drink your celery juice and you do all the things that you're supposed to and you're not drinking wine at like 12 p.m., this is the highlight for you, man. It's so good, so inexpensive. I think it's like five, it's like four or five dollars. Absolutely beautiful. So good. I love this. It's so good. I'm keeping it. Okay, the next two I'm going to get rid of. Um, so this is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Diamond Dust. This is that same formula as her Gilded Honey, which I know people raved about. This one's like a pinky white. And I just never reach for a highlight this color. I mean, I know you probably can't even see it, but I don't even reach for a highlight this color because it go. it's more of like a duochrome kind of. It just, it comes off very pink. And I don't want a pink highlight on my cheeks. I just don't. If I was going to raves, maybe I would. This would be pretty at a rave. But like, nah, I ain't going to raves. I'm old, COVID. I'm I'm not old, I'm 28, but still like, or I'm almost 28. But, but I like the formula, don't love the color, and I never reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then this is the Ciate London Confetti Highlighter. I mentioned this in a favorites not too long ago. I use this, I have this as a favorite because I do love this as an eyeshadow. I think it's absolutely beautiful as an eyeshadow, but I would hate myself if I kept this entire compact because it was an eyeshadow. I just can't do it. I need to give it to someone a little bit darker than me. It's too dark for me to use as a highlight, like way too dark. It's like a very bronzy golden color for me. I wear, again, I wear it as an eyeshadow. I just, I can't use this as a highlight and the pan is too big to use as an eyeshadow. I'm never going to use this up. I might as well give it to someone who can use it as a highlight. And then last, I'm going to keep, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. Absolutely beautiful. It's cult classic for a reason. It's more of a pinky champagne than my Mary Luminizer, but it's real. oh God, it's just freaking beautiful. When you want that like really like bronzy, blushy, like just your skin is so flushed and healthy and beautiful. It's got, it's the most beautiful formula, incredibly inexpensive. Love it. All right, so I got rid of quite a bit of things, I think. Let me count for you. One, two, okay, three primers. One, two, three highlighters, two blushes. Oh, wait, three blushes. One, two foundations, one powder. And four bronzers. So I got rid of two, three, four, five, six, sixteen products, and I'm not even done. That's good. Okay, 
At least, you know, I might be getting rid of a lot of stuff, but at least I'm not the bitch who's like, oh, let's do a declutter and get rid of one thing. So I'm cutthroat here. All right. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, again, I think it's really important to declutter the stuff that you're not using, especially if you haven't had it that long. That way you can give it to like a friend or a family member, then they can use it. They don't have to go buy something else and create more waste, you know, or you can donate it. I just, you know, again, as I said, my eyeshadow one, I know like a lot of donations right now because of COVID, it's like really strict, which it should be. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying, you know, you can't really donate as much. So if you can give it to a new home, great. I think that's really important. And also I think it's so good to have such like, a, like a, I don't think it's bad to have a lot of product. I really don't, as long as they're products that you love. But I think when you start accumulating product that you don't love, you tend to get overwhelmed and you just tend to reach for the same thing over and over again. So I think if you really like narrow down your collection to stuff that, you know, you absolutely love or stuff you want to use more, but you know, stuff that you don't love, but that you've tried and you've given it, you know, if you've given it the go, then I think that's fair. So that's what I am hoping to accomplish with this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for like the mascara, eyeliner, and lip portion. I'll be posting that. I think I'm, I'm gonna try to post them at the same time. We'll see if I can edit them that fast. It's already been three days since I last posted. I'm trying to do like every three or four days. So we'll see if I can do it. I'm gonna try really hard. So yeah. Thank, thank you again so much for watching. As I said a million times, please like and subscribe if you want to. I hit 50 subscribers. I know it's so stupid. It's not stupid because it's so, that's like 50 people. I think only like 10 of them are family. Like that's so cool. That's like 40 people I don't know. That's kind of cool. Like, let's not lie. Okay. That's pretty freaking cool. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it. So yeah, um, thanks so much for watching for the fifth and thousandth time. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.